everybody, it's Lena, and it's obviously Mo, and we are here to do some empties. You are going to have to sit in my lap for a second, because I have to show them how big this freaking empties box has gotten. It doesn't shut anymore. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see how we're going to do this, because I have a Mo in my lap. Because it's morning, I'm about to leave for work, and he needs extra attention, because I'm going to be gone until like 7 o'clock this evening. Why don't you tuck in? Why don't you tuck in there? So that we can open this massive box that is overflowing and actually hanging. Just set that over there and stuff is leaking, stuff is leaking on me. Damn you, Brian. This is actually because I'm cursing him, I can let y'all know. Uh, these are my husband's shampoo and conditioner. I got this at the Dollar Tree at some point. It is the White Rain Sensations Ocean Mist Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. They smelled really nice, but they weren't super hydrating, so I probably wouldn't buy those for him again. Right now, he's using the Suave Natural Macadamia one, and it's so much better. Up next, we have the Wet n Wild Under the Sheets Makeup Remover. I don't know if these are permanent or not. I still see them on occasion. Uh, they are super wet, and they're actually so wet that they destroyed the glue on this, and I had to keep them in a Ziploc bag, but they were decent, but there are things that are better, and they taste, if you get them on your lips, like to wipe off lipstick, and you lick your lips, they are really nasty, so I would not personally repurchase these, but they're certain. They're certainly pretty good, and Wet n Wild is cruelty-free, so if you need to look for something that's cruelty-free, these might be for you. I have two more Kirkland's wipes. I have another one of the travel size, and I have an actual full size that has this little doodad. Uh, the glue got destroyed on these two. But they're really good. You can get a box of like 150 of them or some insane number for like 10 bucks. If you have a Costco near you, I have to go out of my way to a Costco and I like to try different ones. So I would personally not buy these again, but they are paraben free if that is something that concerns you and they do work. Here I have, it's a dirty one, but I have one right here that I used earlier. They are... They are textured on one side. They're nice and big. The Wet n Wild ones were pretty big too. And, like I said, if you have a Costco near you and you need something paraben-free, these might be the way to go. Because, you, like I said, you can get a ton of them. Something household-related. I have a Febreze Airfix Hawaiian Aloha Spray that we kept in the bathroom for obvious reasons. But it's... I really like the smell. I really do. And it does freshen the air. So I would repurchase. But you have to like something that's pineapple-y. Because it is heavy on the pineapple. Here is one of two little moisturizers I know that is in here. It is the Polish Choice Clear Ultralight Daily Mattifying Fluid Moisturizer and SPF. Although I don't know how much SPF is in it because it does not say... Oh, SPF 30 plus. Uh, this was really liquidy and I didn't really care for it. Um, this is the only... I have a set of Polish Choice stuff that I want in a giveaway, but I haven't gotten to it yet in my big backlog of skincare that I currently have. But I hope that the other stuff I have that I think is for acne is better than this because I did not really care for this because like I said it was too liquidy um, and I don't think it particularly mattified so I would not repurchase I would not purchase I got that from Epsi here's something I got for my sister it is the Nexus Carafix Restore restorative strengthening conditioner I had to use a lot of this on my hair like more than normal because I do have a lot of hair as you can see but I had to use like double the amount of conditioner to make it do what my normal cheaper conditioners do. So I would not purchase this. I now know why she didn't really want it. <laughs> Let's see. Cheap shampoo. Uh, VO5 Moisture Milks Passion Fruit Smoothie Moisturizing Shampoo. This smells amazing. I got this from the Dollar Tree because I needed a shampoo right then and there. You can get VO5 for cheaper either at Walmart or CVS, or Wal and Walgreens usually does a sale about once every two months where you can get it for 79 cents. 79 cents in my area anyway. If it's more expensive elsewhere, that's... I live in Louisiana. Stuff's really cheap here. But I did really like this. I have stuff that works better on my hair, but this is a, an amazing smell. If you don't have a lot of hair care needs, VO5 might be for you. I have a packet of tissues from my purse. 
I have an Argan Oil from Morocco Husk Deep Conditioning Hair Treatment. I got this from Beauty Box 5. Uh, I've gotten one of these in the past, but it was keratin and it was really nice. This was really nice too. I used it to finish off the shampoo, the VO5, honestly. And I really liked it and I would repurchase these again because you can get like, even with all of my hair, I got like four uses out of this. So, nice deep conditioning treatment. I'll save that for last. Uh, foot pumice from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I don't really want to see that. Oh, I hated these. Uh, the LA Fresh Travelite Oil Free Makeup Remover Wipes that I got from Beauty Box 5. They were Satan. They stink. I saved one of these. I have to keep it again for my next review of makeup wipes. They still stink. They are tiny in comparison. Like that Kirkland's wipe compared to this. This is tiny as hell. Uh, they are kind of expensive. And they didn't do crap for wiping off my makeup. So I would never repurchase these. I would never recommend these to anyone. Uh, they are free of parabens. They are apparently sensitive formula. I still can't recommend them. The Kirkland's ones are paraben free. Go find a Costco and order those instead. I, you can get a lot more of those as well. Here's a sad one. This is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser that I threw in my shower to finish it up. These don't work for me anymore. Like I used to love these. I have this. I had this one, and I still have the deep action exfoliator left in my cabinet and I need to use my Dollar Tree one now because I break out. I start breaking out again when I use these. When I use these solely, I can use these in conjunction with the Dollar Tree cleanser that I have, which is a knockoff of the Neutrogena oil-free one. But yeah, I probably won't repurchase this again. And it makes me sad because I used to really love them. All right, now we have gotten rid of enough that I can actually hold this. I have a giant candle from Walmart. I peeled off the damn thing. It is the Ocean Breeze or something like that. Uh, I had one of these a couple of months ago in the little smaller one. Well, it's not small, it's still huge. But this is $5. The other one was $3.50. You get like double the product in here, but the scent throw sucks on this one versus the $3.50 ones. So I would not recommend these big ones. I would recommend going and buying the 350 ones that look kind of like a Bath and Body Works candle, but they don't have a top. So no, I will not repurchase it. I'm not gonna bother trying to clean this out. Two of these, so I will use that one for those next. I have two of these little Colgate Total Advanced Pro Shield Peppermint Blast samples that I got from Walgreens because they were just throwing samples at my butt one day. And I don't really care for them. They, they're too powerful. They are alcohol free, which I do prefer, but I would not purchase. I have one, two, apparently just two. Two of these little Biore nose strips that I use to clean out the pores on my nose every once in a while. I have a sample of the Matrix Total Results Heat Resistant Blowout Tamer that I use to just kind of get rid of. Uh, it was nice. Has a little bit of a strange smell to it though, so I would not repurchase. Or purchase, I guess. Okay, um. I have a Vaseline Aloe Fresh Light Feeling Lotion Total Moisture. I, it's a little travel size. I got because I, even though it's super cheap, like to get the big one, I wanted to make sure I liked it first. And I do like it, and I would repurchase for summer. I just wish they still had the gel one in the aloe. They only have it in cocoa butter now, and I don't like their, their smell of cocoa butter. But I would repurchase that. Okay, and I have two things left, and the rest is makeup. No, three things left, and the rest is makeup. Okay. I have this Apice Purifying Exfoliant from, that I got from Ipsy in January. I did really like this, but I think they use those beads that are bad for the environment, so I would not purchase. But this is a really good one. It's it's kind of a light exfoliant, but it is a really good exfoliant. So, yeah, it's probably really expensive though. I, that. I have a deluxe sample of the It's Potent Eye Cream by Benefit. It's the one that comes in a little jar. I love this stuff. I would totally repurchase. I do think it really moisturizes around my eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And last uh, skincare thing, uh, it's a Bare Minerals Advanced Protection SPF 20 Moisturizer for combination skin. Uh, this made my eyes water every time I used it. So I had to use it, and I used it in the morning, so I then have to wait and let my eyes calm down before I could put on my makeup. So I wouldn't purchase this and I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe it had to do with contact. I do have kind of sensitive eyes. And the rest is all makeup related. So let's see, let's pull out the 5x12 stuff first. Well, they've already been over that. Let's see, I have the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation in Light 46. I really do love this, and it does stay put in the nasty heat that we have in Louisiana. It is full coverage. I don't really need full coverage, but it is the only foundation I've had that absolutely stays put. Like, I have all of it to take off at the end of the day. So despite it being $34, I would probably purchase one of these, purchase one of these for next summer. I have the Georgiana Fabi Brow in Taupe. Loved this for my eyebrows. You can get it at Walgreens. Sorry. When I sharpened it the final time, it actually came out. So I would definitely repurchase that in the future. Uh, Cherish from Pretty Pistol 86 sent me a sample of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Mascara, and I loved it. I want another one. It's the only thing that has really ever perfectly held my eyebrows. I now use the Milani Brow Wax, and it's nice, but this still holds them when they get long, and the Milani Brow Wax starts breaking down when they start getting really long. It is expensive as hell, and it does make your eyebrows crispy. But I never had the kind of flaking, dandruff-looking issue, so I would definitely repurchase. You just have to make sure to wash it out at the end of the day. And I have two samples from, of the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden that I used for 5x4. I kept them in this little tub. Uh, if you can stand to keep them in that packet, though, do, because they dry out when you decant them. But I couldn't, because I would have lost them, so I had to. So I lost a little bit of product, but I still got most of it. Uh, these are the matte, kind of yellow eye primer, but they really work for me. They keep my eyeshadow from creasing. And I, I don't know if they improve the power of your eyeshadow, like make them more vibrant. All eye primer does that a little bit, but I use a base as well, so, like, I just have to. Anyways, that's it for 5 by Fall, because I didn't finish my other one. Uh, here's a Project Pan Empty. It is the Wet n Wild Fergie Mattifying Take on the Day Powder. You don't get a lot of product in here, and it is white, so if you are not careful, it will turn your face white. I really like setting my eye concealer with this, so, but I can sure I can find something else for that. So I would not repurchase this. Let's see, Project Pan. Is there anything else in here from Project Pan? No. Here is a mascara. It is the uh, Fishes and Formula Sexy Boost Mascara. It is the one that has the kind of cocoa van vanilla -y smell. Um, this got dry really quickly for a $10 mascara. I say really quickly, I mean like two months. I had to revive it with eye drops once, and a couple weeks later it did it again, and I didn't find it worth the effort. It is a nice, decent mascara, but for $10 it dried out too quickly, so I would not repurchase. Heavy lip balm. It is the fresh rose. It is the fresh sugar lip balm rose. It is the one that is tinted light pink. Ah! My hair was caught in it. And now it's covered in lipstick. But I kept this by my bedside. These are really nice. Um, I'm not totally sure if they are $22 nice. Uh, it looks super pink in the tube, but it is very, very light. My natural lip tint pretty much took care of anything that it might show. Um, I would still probably wind up purchasing this at some point. Hmm. Oh, I did miss one thing. I have a sample of Honey by Marc Jacobs. Hated it, would not repurchase. Something just I did not like. Um, this, is a for, this is a Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner that was in my Project Pan. Uh, for 99 cents, like for the full size, it is really nice. It is really creamy. Or creamy, definitely for a 99 cent highlighter, we'll put it that way. Uh, but it, because it's creamy, it does go faster. Like, I had to sharpen it every three or four uses. But if I'm in the market for a cheap black eyeliner, or they have a couple of colors as well, I would t totally consider purchasing this. 
have my sample of the Wet Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I don't, I still don't think this is any different than the Elf one, but I will be keeping the bottle because it is nice and travel friendly. My first finished X by Xmas thing because I finished it in two days. It is the Miraness Absolutely Smooth Treatment Primer in Rough Diamonds. Love it. I wish I could get it here in the states. Uh, Hannah from Little Miss Artsy sent this to me. And the next time we get to do a swap, which will probably be in like a year, because it's really expensive, I'm definitely going to request this. Or if they have a bigger size, I'm going to request that as well. And the final thing is actually a throwaway. It is the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Liner in Perversion. I used this a couple weeks ago. Oh, it smells so bad. And it, when it got in my eyes, it made my eyes water. So I don't know if it went bad or if it just stinks. But, no, I'm not using that. And I'm throwing it away. I'm not even saving it for an idea I have for the end of the year. Anyways, that is it. I gotta go. I gotta, I got like nine minutes to leave my house and get to work on time. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And I will see you later. My co-host ran away. Bye!